sweet and lovable. That's how Ontario's youngest COVID-19 victim is being remembered. 19-year-old Yassine DeBay was a cleaner at a long-term care home in London, Ontario. His family left Syria five years ago for a better life. Tonight, his father speaks out about the grief of losing a son as he and his entire family are also battling the virus. Through a translator, the father of 19-year-old Yassine Debay described his son as a sweet, lovable, outgoing and compassionate boy who loved his family and had a bright future. His dream for Yassine's new life here in Canada was to have a good education and a good career. The details of Yassine's death are heartbreaking. The 19-year-old's father says he tested positive in the second week of January. He complained of chest pains, and while he did go to hospital a few times and was treated with oxygen, Yassine was never admitted. His father says on his son's final day, he was found unconscious in bed. An ambulance was called, but it was too late. Yassine was pronounced dead at home. Yassine's father also addressed what he called absurd rumors about how his son died. Ahmed is adamant that talk on social media of drugs and suicide is false and that doctors say his son's cause of death was COVID. They were not there at the time of death, said Ahmed. They were not there to watch him struggle breathing. He went on to say, let us mourn in peace. Yassine's father, mother and eight siblings all tested positive for COVID-19 and because of this they were unable to attend his funeral. At this point the family is not laying blame on the hospital or the long-term care home where Yassine worked. I'm being told the 19-year-old loved his job and never complained about health and safety issues.